A lot of you asked me to test the HR or the heart rate measurement that the new Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra can perform because you know it has upgraded sensors. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna test this one. The Galaxy Watch Ultra HR measurement compared to a pulse oximeter that is a professional to use in hospitals. You can buy this off for like 10 euros. I'm also gonna put to the test the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and <laughs> Guys, this here is a true legend, right? This is the Samsung Galaxy S9. And you might think like, why the hell is this phone in this video? Well, on the back, this phone has an optical HR or heart rate measurement sensor. So I'm gonna test these four devices and I'm gonna see what readings I'm gonna get. First things first, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my finger in the pulse oximeter. The pulse oximeter is going to display my heart rate in real time and also guys, the SPO2. You might remember those devices, they were heavily used during the pandemic two years ago. Then I'm gonna use the Galaxy Watch Ultra to perform the same measurement. Then I'm going to measure my heart rate with the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And at the end, I'm gonna give you also a measure from the legendary Galaxy S9. And let me show you something, guys. This is, like, you have to see this. This phone is so durable. It fell off the eighth floor in a garden, back smashed, <laughs> still works, and I love it. Back in the days, Samsung released these things with Exynos, so I imported this from Japan. I will never sell this phone. This is an absolute legend. So, first things first, we're gonna be starting now the measurement, guys. So how does this work? You have to push here, you have to put your finger here, and then, guys, I am going to switch it on. I can change the orientation of display. When I'm taking the measurement, I will be still. You don't need to talk, you also don't need to move, so let's just see what we're gonna get from the pulse oximeter. Right, you can see it's in real time, guys. So 94 is the SpO2 or my blood oxygen. And of course, you don't have to talk, but when I'm talking now, my BPM or my heart raises, you can clearly see this. So this is in real time 85. Now I'm gonna keep this thing here, guys. And in the same time, I'm gonna start to measure with the Galaxy Watch Ultra. So, all right, let's just see. I'm gonna press measure and I'm gonna put both so you can see what happens. Right, so 87 BPM, 87, 88. Uh, this is very good, by the way, right? So 88, like remember, this thing here is in real time. So 87 BPM, I do believe that the first measurement was quite accurate. So I want to also measure the SPO2. Why not do this as well? So I have a specific dial for this. And this is now my blood oxygen. For an accurate measurement, I need to put it two fingers higher than my wrist. Let's check. I think that's done. There is another requirement. I need to place my elbow like this on the table. Hold your wrist near your heart. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to do this and I'm gonna start measuring now. All right, so I got 96% and again, 81 BPM, 94 here, 83 BPM. So I would say that the measurements from the Watch Ultra are now very close. So guys, now as I told you, I'm gonna do the same, but I'm going to use my Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Because a lot of you have been asking how accurate are the new sensors in the Watch Ultra compared to the old ones. For example, this one is the 5 Pro. Let's start. All right, 93 here. 92 here as you can see because I'm speaking and I'm not in the best sitting position I do believe this is very very accurate Okay, so as you can see my heart rate is going up and this is the moment where I'm bringing the legendary Samsung Galaxy S9 classic Let me show you how this works right the moment you put your finger here, right? This is the magic right? This is an optical sensor on the back So let me just start a measurement and see what we're gonna get Ninety BPM. <laughs> this one kills it. 
90 BPM, 90 BPM was also here. I did some push-ups and as you can see, my BPM went higher. Now, let's try to do another measurement. 123 here. One hundred and fifteen, one hundred and sixteen, guys. So, what we can say based on the results with the oximeter and with the Five Pro and with the legendary Samsung Galaxy S9 is that the Galaxy Watch Ultra really has very accurate HR measurement compared again to this device to the S9 and also to the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It was able to reflect very accurate readings and they were not so much far away compared to the oximeter and the other devices and sometimes even they were like one to one. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy content like this and if you like it, you can also check my previous Watch Ultra videos, the unboxing, the unpacking, some <laughs> testing with running and also guys, if you wanna see some stuff for the new Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, well, yeah, you can check those videos too. Thank you so much for watching again. Stay safe, VST over and bye.